بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أبنائي وبناتي طلاب الفرقة الأولى شعبة اللغة الإنجليزية أهلا بكم معنا في The Force Literature Online in Accounting Principles In the last literature we begin to study chapter 8 Fraud, Internal Control and in the last cash. literature we finished studying the first learning objective, defining fraud and the principles of internal control. And we starting study the second objective, apply internal control principle to cash. We finished from studying internal control principle to cash receipt and in this literature we will complete the second learning objective and we will study the third objective identify the control features of a bank account cash disbursement control objective number four generally explain internal control reporting cash of disbursement cash is more effective when companies pay by check or electronic fund transfer rather than by cash. One exception is payments for incidental amounts that are paid out of PT cash. طبعا زي ما احنا عارفين تكون الرقابة أكثر فعالية لما بيكون الدافع عن طريق التحويل الإلكتروني أو الدافع عن طريق الشيكات. الاستثناء الوحيد في المبالغ اللي هي غير متكررة المبالغ الصغيرة فبنعمل لها حاجة اسمها بيتي كاش أو صندوق المصروفات Voucher System Controls A network of approvals by authorized individuals acting independently to ensure all disbursements by check are proper A voucher is an authorization form prepared for each expenditure in a voucher system. طبعا نظام الأسايم بيكون فيه سلسلة من الموافقات للأشخاص اللي هم لهم أصحاب الصلاحية وكل واحد بيشتغل بطريقة مستقلة عن الآخر عشان نتأكد إن المصروفات المدفوعة عن طريق الشيكات تمت بطريقة ملائمة. ونظام الفاوتشر سيستم اللي هو نظام الأسايم بيكون authorization for prepared for each expenditure in a voucher system طبعا بيتم إعداد أسيمة لكل مصروف من هذه المصروفات بيتي كاش فاند زي ما قلنا المبالغ الصغيرة بندفعها عن طريق البيتي كاش بيتي كاش used pay small amounts involves Number one, establishing the fund. Number two, making payments for the fund. Number three, replenishing the fund. هناخد الإجراءات دي مع بعض كده ونشوف journal entries for every action. Number one, establishing the fund اللي هو إنشاء صندوق المصروفات النسرية نفسه. وبعد كده making payments for the fund اللي هو المدفوعات عن طريق هذا هذا الصندوق. اللي هو صندوق المصروفات النسرية وبعد كده replenishing the fund اللي هو استعاضة المنصرف من هذا الـ establishing the بيتي كاش fund illustration if zero limited decides to establish a 3000 dollar new Thailand dollar fund on March 1 the general journal entry is okay BT cash debit 3000 and cash is credit for 3000. So this is the first action establishing the BT cash. BT cash debit and cash is replenishing the BT cash fund. الاستعاضة لما بنصرف جزء من هذا المصروف بنعمل له ايه؟ استعاضة. Illustration on March 15 Zero Limited بيتي كاش كوستيديان ريكوست شيك فور نت اماونت 2610 
the funds contains $3,390 cash and debit cash receipt for postage $1,320, freight out $1,140, and miscellaneous expenses is $150. Okay? Now, you know, the establishing BT cash is $3,000. Okay? And the balance for cash now is $390. And BT cash receipt total amount is to 601. If we will sum 2610 plus 390, the total is 3000. So the journal entry is postage expenses 1320. Freight out 1140. Miscellaneous expenses, 150, and cash is 2,610. You remember, if we add 2,610 plus the balance 390, the total amount is 3,000. Another example for replenishing the BT cash. Assume in the preceding example, that is the custodian had only $360 in cash. You remember, last example, the balance is $390 and the receipts for $2,610. So there is no overage or shortage in cash. But in this example, the balance is only 360 in cash. So there is a shortage in cash, $30 in the fund, 360 in cash in the fund, plus the receipt as listed. The request for reimbursement would therefore be for 2,640, and you would make the following entry. Postage expenses, the same, 1,320. Freight out, also the same, 1,140. Miscellaneous expenses, 150. The total amount for all receipts is 2,610. The balance is 360. So there is a shortage in cash equal $30. So we are recorded here cash over and short in the debit side. Cash over and short. Now, in this case, is a short in the balance. Cash over and short is $30, and the credit side is cash $2,640. Okay? Another example for BT Cash. Peter Company established $50 BT Cash fund in July 1. In July 30, the fund had $12 cash remaining and BT Cash receipts for postage $14, office supplies $10, and delivery expenses $15. Prepare journal entries in July 1 and in July 3. First entry for establishing BT Cash. BT Cash DR debit and cash credit for $50. In July 3, we are making journal entry for reembellishment the BT Cash. You see, cash balance is $12. So, the BT cash receipt it should be equal $38. But if we add $14 postage plus $10 supplies plus $15 delivery, the total amount is $38. But it should be $38, not $39. Now, 
there is cash over for one dollar again the balance for petty cash is twelve dollar so it should be cash receipts for thirty eight but if we add the receipts postage fourteen supplies ten and delivery fifteen the total amount for receipts cash receipts is thirty nine it should be thirty eight so there is one dollar is cash over so the journal entry as it is postage expenses fourteen dollar supplies ten dollar delivery expenses fifteen dollar and in credit side cash over and short in this case the cash over is one dollar control features of a bank account the use of a bank contributes significantly to good internal control over cash. Number one, minimize the amounts of currency on hand. Number two, creates a double record of bank transactions. Number three, bank reconciliation. Making bank deposits. Authorized employee should make a deposit. طبعا مش كل حد بيروح يعمل إيداع. أشخاص مصرح بيه هم اللي بيعملوا الإيه الإيداع. وده الفورم بتاع ال deposit notification. You see the front side, company name and the date and the cash included currency, coin and total. Check amount and in the reverse side the details for check number and the amount for every check and total amount for checks the same in the front side total amount in check. Writing checks. Check is written order signed by the depositor directing bank to pay specified sum of money to designated recipient. There's three persons in the sheet, maker and P and payer. Maker, نحبه عليه الساحب و P اللي هو المستفيد من الشيك و payer اللي هو المسحوب عليه. You see the date and the amount by number and the amount by letter and signature from the maker. Electronic funds transfer system. Disbursement system that use wire, telephone or computer to transfer cash from one location to other. Use is quite common. Electronic fund transfer transaction normally result in better internal control since no cash or checks are handled by company employees. Bank statements. Prepared from bank's perspective. Every deposit bank receives is an increase in bank's liabilities and account payable to the depositor. List is in numerical sequence all paid checks along with the check was paid and its amount. Bank includes with bank statement memoranda explaining other debits and the credits it made to depositor account. A sheet is not paid by a bank because of insufficient funds in a bank account is called non-sufficient fund sheet, not sufficient funds. زي ما احنا شايفين كده كشف حساب البنك طبعا ده بيعبر عن الرصيد من وجهة نظر مين؟ من وجهة نظر البنك وبيشتمل على كل الإيداعات اللي استلمها البنك طبعا الإيداعات اللي استلمها البنك بتزود اللايبيلتيز التزامات البنك تجاه الايه؟ تجاه المودع. وفي كمان 
كل الشيكات اللي صرفها البنك للديبوزيتور للمودع لصاحب الحساب رقم الشيك ومبلغه وبيشتمل ايضا مذكرات الايداع ومذكرات الخصم في الكريدت والديبت للحساب وايضا بيشتمل على الشيكات التي لم تدفع علشان ما فيش رصيد لها that is not paid by a bank because unsufficient fund او رصيد غير كافي دي كشف الحساب اللي بيجي لنا في نهايه كل شهر من البنك ادي شكل كشف الحساب بنك ستيتمنت زي ما احنا شايفين كده الاكونت ستيتمنت في اسم الشركه كومباني نيم طبعا ده اسم البنك والستيتمنت ديت تاريخ بتاع كشف الحساب ابريل 3 2020 والاكونت نمبر رقم الحساب وعندنا هنا ملخص كده لكشف الحساب اللي هو لاست بالانس او لاست ستيتمنت بالانس اللي هو رصيد اخر كشف حساب والديبوزيت اند كريدتس الارصده الدائنه والايداعات اللي هي هتزود رصيد الحساب والشيكس اند ديبتس الارصده المدينه والشيكات المنصرفه والنيو بالانس او البالانس ذيس ستيتمنت اللي هو رصيد الحساب الايه الحالي كشف الحساب الحالي زي ما احنا شايفين كده رصيد الكشف السابق لاست بالانس بلس الديبوزيت اند كريدت ماينس الشيكس اند ديبتس يديني نيو بالانس او نيو ستيتمنت بالانس ان ذيس مانث وده الديتيلز بتاعت الاكونت ديداكتد فروم اكونت اللي هي تفاصيل بتاعت الشيكات والمذكرات الخصم وهنا الاكونت ادت تو اكونت اللي هو الكريدت تفاصيل بتاعت الايداعات والاضافات للحساب طبعا هنا آه في سيمبلز سي ام اللي هي الكريدت ميموراندا الدي ام اللي هي الديبت ميموراندا الاي سي اللي هي الايرور كوريكشن الاي ان تي الانترست ايرنت الان اس اف اللي هي نوت سفيشنت فاندز الاس سي اللي هي سيرفس تشارج والاي اف تي الكترونيك فاندز ترانسفير كويشن كاش ديسبارسمنت كنترول ذا كنترول فيتشرز اوف ا بانك اكونت دونت انكلود نمبر اي Having bank editors verify the correctness of the bank balance per box. Number B, minimizing the amount of cash that must be kept on hand. Number C, providing a double record of all bank transactions. Number D, safeguarding cash by using a bank as depository. Which one not included in the Features of bank account. You remember bank account in the company books. Which one is not included? Huh? Number A. Because there is no relation between bank editors and the company books. So having bank editors verifying the correctness of The bank balance per book. There is no relation between bank editors and company books. This one is not included in the control features of uh, company books. Reconciling the bank account. Reconcile balance per books and balance per bank to their correct or true balance. Reconciling items. Included four items. Number one, deposits in transit. Number two, outstanding checks. Number three, bank memoranda. Number four, errors. The first three items resulting from time lags, and the fourth item result from The errors. At the end of every month, we should reconcile balance per book and the balance per bank. بنعمل مذكرة تسوية عشان نقارن الرصيد from bank perspective من وجهة نظر البنك اللي هو بيبقى جاي في كشف الحساب مع balance per bank at the 
كومباني بوكس بتاع الرصيد اللي موجود في الدفاتر طيب ايه هي العناصر اللي بتسبب الاختلاف بين الرصيد في كشف الحساب عن الرصيد في الدفاتر اربع عناصر اساسيه العنصر الاول ديبوزيتس ان ترانزيت اللي هي بنقول عليها الايداعات بالطريق يعني ايه ديبوزيت ان ترانزيت يعني مبالغ الشركه سجلتها في دفترها كايداعات ولكنها لم تسجل بعد حتى نهاية الشهر في كشف حساب البنك عشان كده بيسموها من وجهة نظر الشركة إيداعات بالطريق يعني إيه؟ لأنها سجلت في دفاتر الشركة ولم تسجل في كشف حساب البنك لأن لغاية نهاية الشهر لم تصل إلى البنك النوع الثاني اللي احنا بنقول عليه Outstanding Checks اللي هي الشيكات المعلقة يعني إيه شيك معلق؟ Outstanding Check is a check that a company has issued and recorded in its general ledger accounts but the sheik has not cleared to bank account in which it drawn this means that the bank balance will be greater than the company through amounts of cash شيكات المعلقه شيك شركة سحبته سدادا لأحد الموردين وبالتالي خفضته من رصيدها في الدفاتر لكن هذا المورد خد الشيك وما نشترفوش من البنك حتى نهاية الشهر وبالتالي الرصيد في كشف حساب البنك لم يرد فيه هذا الشيك اللي هو خفضناه في دفاتر الشركة وما تخفضش فين في كشف حساب البنك لأنه لم يقدم للبنك بعد وبالتالي الرصيد في كشف حساب البنك بيبقى أعلى من الرصيد في الدفاتر ليه؟ لأن الشركة خصمت والبنك لم يخصم ده الأوتستاندينج شيكس اللي احنا بنقول عليها شيكات ايه معلقة السبب الثالث في الاختلاف اللي هو بنك ممراندا اللي هو مذكرات البنك سواء كانت ديبت ممراندا اور كريدت ممراندا مذكرة خصم او مذكرة اضافة طبعا دي جت في كشف حساب البنك ولكنه لم يعلم تعلم عنها الشركة حتى تاريخه الثلاث اسباب دول بنقول عليهم ناتجين عن ايه التايم لاجز اللي هو الفترات الزمنية المختلفة اللي هي تسجلت في احد الاطراف ولم تسجل في الطرف الاخر نتيجة لم عدم الطرف الاخر بها اما السبب الرابع في الاختلاف هو الايرورز والإيرورز ده أو الأخطاء دي ممكن تحصل في كشف الحساب تبقى من وجهة نظر البنك أو تحصل في دفاتر الشركة تبقى أخطاء من وجهة نظر الشركة وطبعا الإيرورز دي بتم تصحيحها في نفس المكان اللي حدث فيه الخطأ لو حدث خطأ في كشف الحساب بنصحح عند البنك ولو حدث خطأ في دفاتر الشركة بيتم التصحيح فين في دفاتر الشركة Reconciling the bank accounts Reconciliation procedures Cash balance per bank From bank's perspective And cash balance per box From company perspective When we begin From cash balance per bank Should be add Deposits in transit Which recorded in the company box but not recorded in the bank statement and deduct outstanding checks which recorded in the company books but not recorded yet in the bank statement and add or deduct bank errors it's depending on the type of error resulting in an increase or decrease in the balance And the result is the corrected balance. And when we begin from cash balance per box, should add electronic fund transfer collection and other deposits, which recorded in the bank statement, but the company not yet recorded until now, and deduct non-sufficient fund balance it checks and deduct service charge and other payments also 
not recorded yet in the company books, but recorded in the bank statement and add or deduct company errors dependence on the type of error. The result is corrected balance. The balance here equal the balance from the bank statement. Bank reconciliation illustrated. Illustration 8.10 presented the bank statement for Kerry Government, which the company accessed online. It shows a balance per bank of 15,907.45 euro on April 3, 2020. On this date, the balance of cash per box is 11,709.45 euro. From the foregoing steps, carry determine the following reconciling items for the bank. Step 1. Deposit in transit. April 3. Deposits received by bank on May 1. Now, this deposit recorded in the book but not recorded in the bank statement. Now, it should be added in the bank statement balance 2201.40. Step 2. Outstanding checks. Check number 453, amount $3,000. Check number 457, $1,401.3. Check number 460, amount $1,052.7. This outstanding checks recorded in the books but not recorded in the bank statement. It should be deducted from the balance from bank statement. And step three, bank errors. Reconciling items bear books are step one as for other deposits, unrecorded Electronic receipt from customer on account on April 9 determined from the bank statement 1035. This deposits recorded in the bank statement but not recorded in the company box. It should be added to the company box. Step 2. Other payments. The electronic payments on April 3 and 7 were previously recorded by the company when they were initiated. Unrecorded charges determined from the bank statement are as follows. Returned non-sufficient fund check on April 29, 425.60. Debit and credit card fees on April 3. 120 bank service charged on April 30, $30. This amount recorded in the bank statement but not yet recorded in the company box. So it should be deducted from the balance in the company box. Step 3. Company's error. Sheet number 443 was correctly written by Kerry for 1226 and was correctly paid by the bank on April 12th. However, it was recorded as 1262 on Kerry's book. The error in the company box. The correct amount is 126 by the check and pay it from the bank, the same amount, 126, but recorded in the company books, 1,262. So the wrong amount difference between 
was payment on account to Rocks Foods. A supplier, the correcting entry is cash $36 debit and account payable $36 credit. Non sufficient check as indicated earlier. A non sufficient fund check becomes an account receivable to the depositor. The entry is account receivable 425.16 and the credit is cash 425.16. Bank charge expenses, fees for processing debit and the credit card transaction 120 euro and the bank service charge 30 euro have been combined in the single entry as follows 150 120 plus 30 bank charge expenses debit side and the credit side is cash 150 and now in the company book the cash account as you see April 30 Balance eleven thousand seven hundred nine point forty five at one thousand thirty five and thirty six dollar thirty six euro and deduct four hundred twenty five point six in the credit side and one hundred fifty in the credit side also and the adjusted balance is twelve thousand two hundred four point eighty five which is the adjusted balance bear box and the adjusted balance bear bank statement. Reconciling the bank account. The reconciling item in a bank reconciliation that will result in adjusting entry by the depositor is outstanding checks, bank error, deposit in transit, Bank serves charged. Which one is correct? You know, by the depositor. Entry by the depositor is bank service charged. Exercise bank reconciliation. Debica can owns Debica Fine Fabrics. Debica asks you to explain how she should treat the following reconciling item when reconciling the company's bank account. Number one, a debit memorandum for a non-sufficient check. The answer is debit memorandum for non-sufficient check. It recorded in the bank balance but not recorded in the company balance now it should be deducted from book balance the answer is number one deduct from balance per box number two a credit memorandum for an electronic funds transfer from one of the company's customer received by the bank this fund received by the bank and recorded in the bank statement but not recorded in the company box it should be added in the balance bear box the answer add to balance bear box number three outstanding checks outstanding checks recorded in the company box but not recorded in the bank statement it should be deduct from bank balance number three deduct from balance per bank number four deposit in transit which recorded in the company box but not recorded in the bank statement and it should be deduct from balance the last per objective bank. objective number 4 reporting cash cash equivalents 
Cash equivalents are short-term, highly liquid investments that are both number one, readily convertible to known amounts of cash, and number two, so near their maturity that their market value is relatively unsensitive to changes in interest rates. Restricted cash. Restricted cash is cash that is not available for general use but rather is restricted for special purposes. Reporting cash, Korean Airlines Incorporation, Statement of Financial Position, partial in millions, assets, current assets, short-term investment, and cash and the cash equivalent. Now, we are solving this cache for reporting cache. Indicate whether each of the following statements is true or false. Number one, cache and the cache equivalents are comprised of coins, currency, paper money, money orders, and non-sufficient checks. Is this statement true or false? The answer is... This statement, number one, is false. Number two, restricted cash is classified as either a current asset or non-current asset, depending on the circumstances. Restricted cash may be as current asset in the short term, but in another case, may be in the long run, it should be non-current asset. So this statement number two is correct. Number three, a company may have a negative balance in its bank account. In this case, it should offset this negative balance against cash and the cash equivalents on the financial position. This statement also is wrong. Number three, false. Number four, because cash and the cash equivalents often include short-term investments, accounts receivable should be reported as the last item, last item of the financial position. Now, this statement also now we are is finished false. from Number chapter four eight. Is I hope you understand this chapter, and my best wishes for success.